Hi guys, in today's lesson, we'll start a new topic that's called sets. And in this lesson, I'll be talking about introduction to sets. The first and very important thing for this topic is what are sets? Sets hota kya? So let's begin. A set is a collection of objects or elements represented in curly brackets. Data ko curly brackets may represent karne ko hum kya kehte guys? Sets. To represent data in a curly bracket is called sets. Achha ji. Jo elements of sets hote. 1, 2 and 3. They are denoted by this sign. Elements kisse denote hote bache this sign. So let's begin with one exercise. Part A, it says x is a positive integer between 1 and 10. Right set A. So my set A will be, guys, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Why? Because it says between 1 and 10. Now it says negative integer between minus 10 and minus 1 inclusive. What do I mean by inclusive? That minus 10 and minus 1 both will be included. So minus 10, minus 9, minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Got this? Now part C. It says positive even number such that minus 2 is less than x and x is less than or equal to 12. Less than equal to means 12 is included, but minus 2 is not included. So let me tell you the even numbers between minus 2 and 12. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Got this, guys? Now comes. D is the set of vowels in the word happy. What are the vowels in the word happy? It's only one. I hope you are clear with the basic definition of set and its elements. Now let's proceed with the next part of the topic. That is type of sets. The first type of set is universal set. Universal sets are those sets from which you extract other sets. It contains the total number of elements present in a question. It is denoted by this sign. So in this question, can you see the universal set here is all the integers between 22 till 33. And you are supposed to write set E, T and F. Let's begin. What set E guys? It's even numbers. What are even numbers? It's 22, between 22 and 33, right? It's 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, and 32. Now comes set T. What are multiples of 3? It's 24, 27, 30, and 33. Now comes set F. What are multiples of 4 between 22 and 33? It's 24, 28, and 32. That's it. So universal sets kya hote? Jisse hum different sets ko extract karte. Uske andar saare elements present hote. Do you get till this point? Now comes second and third set that is finite and infinite set guys what are finite set in which i know the lower and upper limit let's say even numbers till 10 so you start from 2 and you go on till 10 but if it says even numbers only that means it's going to start from 2 and goes on till infinity or it says x greater than 3 
that means it's going to start from 4 and goes on till infinity the infinite sets are those sets in which either you know upper limit or the lower limit and it has unlimited number of elements after this comes equal set equal sets are those sets when two sets are exactly same let's say set a is two four six eight ten and set b is all even numbers till then so our set a and set b exactly same that means bacha this is equal set and number fifth is null set what are null sets those sets which has no elements they are empty sets and they are denoted by bacha empty curly brackets so i hope you are clear with universal set finite set infinite set equal set and null set now comes the three most important sets that is intersection union and complement let's begin with intersection jo elements dono set mein common hote bache wo kya hote intersection and they are denoted by this sign union means all the elements in both the set but the elements which are repeated will only be written once and it is denoted by this sign example se ye zyada clear hoga so guys in this question universal set is between 22 till 23 which i wrote here got this set e is an even number so what are even number present in universal set guys it's 22 24 26 28 30 and 32 now set t multiple of 3 so what's multiple of 3 24 27 30 and 33 and set f is a multiple of 4 24 28 and 30 i wrote it here now i need t intersection f so guys intersection mean common elements what's common between t and f 24 yeah and what else is common i don't think anything else so my answer will only be 24 do you get till this point guys then it says t union f so in union i write all the elements but the element that's repeated i'll only write it once so it's going to be 24 only once and then 27 and then 28 and then 30 and then 32 33 so all the elements that are part of t and f will come once but the element that's repeated will only come once do you get this but so we are clear with intersection and union also now comes complement complement kya hote guys wo elements jo set me e me present nahi hai but kaha pe present hai bache universal set so let's see e ke andar guys kaun kaun se elements nahi hai 22 hai but 23 nahi and there was 23 in universal set then 25 27 29 31 33 jo elements set e may nahi hai but present in universal set will go in e complement guys t complement mein kya jayega wo elements jo t mein nahi hai but present in universal set those will be 22 23 25 26 20 8 29 31 32 then comes f complement so 
तो गाइस एफ के अंदर कौन से नंबर्स नहीं है जो यूनिवर्सल सेट में 22 22 23 25 26 नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स व्हाट डू आई मीन बाय नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इट मींस हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन अ सेट लेट्स से सेट डब्ल्यू विल बी व्हाट बच्चे हैं 10 12 14 16 18 सेट एच इज मल्टीपल ऑफ 3 व्हाट आर मल्टीपल ऑफ 3 इन दिस सेट यूनिवर्सल सेट 12 15 18 now the question is I need W union H and in union I write down all the elements. So it's going to be but you have 12 or uh, 10. 12 is coming in both but I'll write it only one. 14, 15, 16 and 18. Will I get the marks? No because it says N. N means number of elements. So guys. How many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the small n represent how many number of elements are there. You can't write all the elements present in the set, but you just need to write number of elements. Last two things. What are disjoint sets? When two sets have nothing in common and they are denoted by bache this sign. A intersection B has nothing in common. Now comes the last set and that's called subset. What are subsets? When one set is made entirely of other set and other set has few other elements as well. That means that set is the subset of the other set. Now see this question. Here, you can clearly see that set A has elements 2, 3, 4, 5. And set B has element 1 till 9. If you notice, all the elements of set A are present in set B. Which clearly means that A is the subset of B. Let's suppose B is written here and A is written here. We extracted A out of B. So the sign of subset will be towards B. Do you get this? This is the sign of subset. And this is the diagram of subset. <coughs> all good, all set guys. So in the next lesson, I'll be practicing few questions related to these concepts. Till then guys, take care. Bye.